After van attack in Spain, U.S. President Donald Trump appears to endorse idea of mass executions for Muslim militants President Donald Trump appeared to endorse the idea of mass executions for Muslim militants on Thursday, as he alluded to a widely debunked account of summary punishment by a U.S. general in the Philippines in the early 1900s. It was another provocative tweet from an increasingly isolated leader who uses Twitter to take shots at perceived opponents and even to announce big policy changes. Thursday's tweet also suggested Trump actually believes a story that many historians say is apocryphal. Trump first sent out a tweet offering aid to Spain after Thursday's van attack in Barcelona that left at least 13 dead and dozens wounded. About an hour later, Trump tweeted study what General Pershing of the United States did to terrorists when caught. There was no more radical Islamic terror for 35 years was referring to General John Black Jack Pershing, who was U.S. governor of the largely Muslim Moro province from 1909 to 1913. At the time, the Philippines was a U.S. colony, and Pershing's forces fought Muslim rebels. The debunked account which Trump has referred to in the past is as follows. Pershing's forces rounded up 50 Muslim rebels and executed 49 of them with bullets dipped in pig's blood, considered by Muslims to be unholy. You heard that, right Trump said as a candidate during a rally in February 2016 in South Carolina, alluding to the pig blood part. They were having terrorism problems, just like we do, Trump said. As the story goes, the 50th prisoner was released to tell you his fellow fighters about what the Americans had done. And for 25 years, their WASNT a problem. OK, 25 years, their WASNT a problem, Trump said. Historians have expressed outright denial that this event took place. According to the fact-checking website PolitiFact, the late military historian Frank Van Diver said in 2003, referring to Pershing, I never found any indication that it was true in extensive research on his Moro experiences. This kind of thing would have run completely against his character, PolitiFact quoted four historians who denied the account.